Good morning, Carl. Uh, yes, when it comes to things moving down here, every trader I've spoken to this morning has said basically down 19K is what they're keeping an eye on. Otherwise, we're going to see if volumes can kind of match up to those record high levels that we've seen across all of these major indices. To start the day off, though, we are seeing a, at least a little bit of weakness where we have seen it in the past. That is places like utilities, also this morning in healthcare as well. So on the sector side of things, we are seeing a little bit of movement on the weak side there, at least dragging things down. Telecom, consumer discretionary, and real estate among some of the outperformers. So a very mixed bag. You can't just say it's the interest rate sensitives that are going down or it's the risk on assets, the cyclicals that are going up. So far in trading early at least, we're seeing a bit of a mixed picture there. We are taking some at least positive efforts here coming out of what's happening in Europe for the time being. We are seeing some movements higher in all the major bursts Bourses, if you will, there. The German DAX up by about two thirds of a percent. The CAC in France, FTSE, MIB in Italy, the IBEX 35 in Spain, all showing some real signs of strength in trading over there. So at least we're seeing a little carry through from our record highs yesterday. One other place to watch right now, the Russell 2000 small cap index. We do know it's been 12 straight days of gains. We're working on number 13 right now for the Russell 2000. It is not moving as highly as maybe some would want as a leading indicator for some of the overall markets. But that Trump trade, the U.S. focused companies that are not as affected by the strength of the U.S. dollar, certainly a focus there. One other thing I'd mention, and this is something that you guys were just chatting about, the idea that there's been this kind of rotation back into certain value oriented names. One of the things that we're watching pretty closely here is the outperformance so far this year of the Russell 1000 large cap value index versus the growth index, a theme that's been carrying on ever since the elections when many of these tech companies that are momentum names have been underperforming some of the industrial counterparts in other indices. Certainly, guys, something to watch there. Back over to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.